Welcome to the segment you've all been waiting for. It's cooking with Cassie and Ross. Hey! I'm just going to be doing the eating. Ross is going to be doing the cooking because, of course, we're celebrating your brand new book. I'm definitely going to get you to do some cooking. Cassie. I wouldn't. Today you're going to be hands-on helping me in the kitchen because we've to get through two recipes, two recipes in like about 20 minutes. Okay, so these are two recipes from the mm -hmm. brand new book, yes. which is called No Fuss Vegan. So very good, very good. Is it vegan? It is, it is fully vegan. Um, you know, obviously my first two cookbooks, they included absolutely everything. Yeah. And this one I just wanted to concentrate on vegetables and making them the star of the show. And I suppose as Irish people, we know all know how to cook yeah. meat, chicken and eggs. When it comes to vegetables, we kind of tend to, they're an afterthought. Okay. So I just wanted to make them the center of the plate. This is one of my favorite recipes from the book. It's page 213, if you have the book at home. <laughs> and they're the shortbread biscuits. They're okay. so easy to make, I'm gonna love them. So what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need some regular oats, some ground almond, a little bit of coconut oil, maple syrup, and a pinch of sea salt. That is all that is going into the cookies. And you know, we're gonna tart them up. I have some melted chocolate here, and some chopped nuts, which we're gonna Delicious. put on. Give them a bit of crunch. Okay, cool. Um, so what we're gonna start with first is the regular porridge. Oats. We're gonna blend them up to make kind of a nice chunky flour. And blending oats up is such a great way to make things like breads, pancakes, and you'll see here cookies. Uh, so we're gonna tip it into a medium-sized mixing bowl, okay? And we're gonna add in our ground almond. And what your job is now, you're gonna go melt this. Funny enough, Roz, I actually brought some coconut oil melted because I just had a feeling. I'm not going to ask any questions. <laughs> use it. You we're can just, use some. We're just going to pop in the melted uh, coconut oil. Uh, next up, we have some maple syrup. Do you like maple syrup? Delish. Everyone loves maple syrup. I love oh, maple syrup. Yeah. I grew up in Canada, so I have it on everything. And lastly, a good pinch of sea salt. Pop it all in, and now look, work your magic. I don't think this is in any way magic, Roz, but... It's tough work. If it's like a real cook show. I you said kind of like your this. top skill was reheating a pizza. It, it, it is. Do now you have you one of those? Like, now you can be like, my top skill is mixing cookie dough. Like, I'm definitely not selling myself as a wife right now. No, no, no. Like, or, or oh, listen, you know, not, every, not, not everyone's good in the kitchen. No. It's fine. It's, it's fine. definitely not. Other Sorry. traits, other traits. <laughs> so I'll take this over. <laughs> uh, you know, we're going to use the back of a spoon here and kind of really mix it, make sure we're getting Well, you didn't tell me, see, that's why I wasn't like. So something like an ice cream scoop is really good to make sure you're getting the right measurements. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay, voila, we have them done. Kind of nice, rough, kind of cookie shapes. Like uh, you can make them perfect, but you know what? This is real life. As a new this thing we learned, real. abbreviation IRL. In real life. In real life, in real life. Mean Ireland. No, it doesn't mean Ireland. We're just, we're just super <laughs> we're not too cool. old. Too old. So I'm going to pop these in the oven at 180 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes, and you'll know when they're done because they'll have a nice kind of golden colour around the edges. Delicious. Okay. I'm going to let you do that. Yeah, hold tight. I'll be here. They smell good, don't they? they smell oh, delicious. So this is what they look like okay. when they're. Just done out of the oven. Great, so do no, we... No, 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 no. We need to let them cool down. How long? Mm, I'd say 10 minutes. Give it 10 minutes. Not too long, not too long. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, go. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I can actually... <laughs> what Trust can I do you. now? You should be in the kitchen the whole time telling me how long things have been. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start decorating them. We can dip them or we can just drizzle on. Drizzle, I trust okay, you. Okay, yeah, drizzle. let's drizzle, let's drizzle. That is mm. stunning and smell the smell. Yes, they do smell really good. So you can, can eat? you like, can you can go for one. It's gonna be messy, like you would let the chocolate set, but you're just gonna go for it. I feel like I'm just yeah. messy anyway. Yeah. It's gonna be chocolate in your teeth. Don't Make sure want. you get a shot of this. Mm. Do you like them? Mm. They're delicious. <laughs> Come on, give us a smile. <laughs> Okay, that was absolutely delicious. Next up, I'm seeing I'm seeing more veg. Yes, we're actually getting onto some vegetables. So we went from sweet to savory, and I think it's a bit more appropriate this time of year. It's cold outside, yeah. and we want to get home and have something comforting in minutes. 
Mm. So we're gonna make a chickpea and courgette soup. So what I have here, slice up courgettes. I have some frozen peas and I have just a tin of chickpeas. Make sure you rinse and drain them. Okay. You know they sometimes are, people are like, I get all gassy from chickpeas. Rinse your chickpeas, lads. You're not rinsing. Oh, rinse your chickpeas. Hello. Uh, we have some pesto and some vegetable stock and just a little bit of olive oil. So these are kind of all simple ingredients. Yeah. You know where you can pick them up. Okay, uh, what we're gonna start with first. We're gonna get a big old pot and put on high heat. Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna put in uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're gonna dice, put in our diced uh, courgettes. So we're gonna bring it up to high heat and just let it kind of cook for about a minute or so. Want to give them kind of a little bit of a color. Okay. Okay, cool. okay so as you can see, my, my courgettes are getting a little bit of kind of a, a golden color. We're gonna pour in my vegetable stock. So I have 800 mils of vegetable stock. Are you impressed with how I know all my ingredients? This off is my heart? incredible. I yeah. also love the way you just know what two tablespoons or teaspoons of olive oil is. Yeah, you know, you know what? One day I was on Insta Story and I was just doing a bit of guesstimation. You know, I was like, uh, "Is that 800 mils of this?" Whatever. And a scientist messaged me and she was like, "You are really good at this." And I was like, "Thanks." It's a skill. Yeah, you know, I think it's just years of measuring things out. Now, I would never rec do not do this at home. I hate when people don't measure things out <laughs> doing recipes. I can do it because I've made the You're book, a pro. Yeah, yeah. I have my olive oil, my courgette, and my stock in the pot. I'm going to bring it to boil and let it cook for 10 minutes. Okay, 10, ten minutes. minutes again. I know. Get that watch ready. Minutes. Get that watch ready. Okay, I'll be here. We'll be back. Two, one, 10 minutes. Go. You and that watch. You're welcome. Thank You're God I'm here. Without you. Okay, <laughs> bam. We're ready to rock and roll. Um, so as you, can see, as you can see, my courgettes have, they've softened. So that's what we're looking for here. Okay. And next thing, we're just gonna throw with the rest of our ingredients in. So it's really easy. We're gonna pop in our, our frozen peas, which we all have. Yeah, I know, I have loads freezer, of those, yeah. yeah. Uh, some lovely pesto here, so just some green pesto. Yum. We're gonna go with a vegan pesto, so there's lots of them on the market. And next up, our rinse. Rinse. And then I say it again, rinsed chickpeas, and pop them in. Uh, just give it a stir around and kind of let the heat get into it. Okay. So our frozen peas with the heat of the hot water, the hot stock, they're gonna thaw out and cook completely along with our chickpeas and just the pesto you see. As you oh, can see nice. with the soup, at the start, we didn't do the, the traditional of sauteing the onion and garlic and everything. It's so time consuming. Yeah, too much. Don't we don't have time. Don't have time. So the pesto gives it a really nice deep flavor without okay. any fuss. Um, so now all we have to do is blend it up. And then ready? we're done. This Are you is ready? simple. Yeah, Very okay, quick. so what I would suggest is, we'll take a little step back. Okay. Take the clothes. Go. Okay, yeah. I'm not going on turbo speed just yet. So we want to blitz it up nice and creamy. Ooh. So what you want to do is make sure that there's no chickpeas or peas left okay. visible, okay? Okay, Cassie, can you see any peas or chickpeas left? I can confirm I... See, no peas or chickpeas. Ah, yes, so it's nice and smooth, <laughs> and we're ready to rock and roll, ready to have, to have a taste. Let's go. Yum. Don't, don't burn your thumb in. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. The taste of pasta is delicious. Very good. So, guys, if you have this book, it's on page 74 at home. And if you Give don't have the book, go get the book. It's called No Fuss Vegan. There's dinners, breakfasts, snacks, desserts. Desserts, as we tried earlier, those delicious cookies. I'm going to stay here and just enjoy the rest of this chickpea soup. And you're totally going to eat the rest of the cookies. I totally yeah. am, yeah. 